Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's video, we are going to learn Universal Human Values and Professional Ethics Unit 2 Revision. This is revision classes for you from Unit 2. Okay, so in this, I have a short answer questions, some terms, some definitions. So, very important that you have to exam in multiple choice questions and answer are very chances. At least you have to definition a definition in your mind, so you will attempt basis in multiple choice questions. attempt this video, I share this video with you as a revision class. So, let's start this video. Ko. In this, your first question is define the following terms. First one, sensation. What is sensation? A perception associated with a stimulation of a sense organ or with a specific body condition is known as sensation. Okay, for example, the sensation of heat. In other words, it's a term commonly used to refer to the subjective experience resulting from a stimulation of a sense organ. For instance, a sensation of balm, sore or green. Suppose we had seen the bike and not associated it with greatness. Rather, we only liked the way it looked. Then, this is based on the sensation. I hope you have examples so much. Next question. Imagination. Next definition is imagination. The activities of desire, thoughts and expectation at the label of self not to be body are collectively called as imagination so imagination is equal to desire plus thoughts plus expectation this is important next question preconditioning in this preconditioning means we have assumed something about our desires on the basis of prevailing notion about it they comes from what we read see here what our parents tell us, uh, our friends talk about, what the magazines talk of, what we see on the TV, etc. Okay. We have not self-verified the desire in our own right. As a result, we are not clear about what we will get out of fulfillment of that desire. The problem with that is, unless we verify our desires, we may not even know whether they are our we may end up spending an entire lifetime accumulating desires that are not ours and in running about trying to fulfill them. Okay, so this is all about preconditioning. Next definition is Sayam. Sayam means self-regulation. In this, the feeling of responsibility in the self I for nurturing, protection and right utilization of the body. Okay. Next definition is swasthya. Swasthya means health. In this, the body act according to the needs of eye. Next one, there is harmony among the parts of body. So, swasthya is the condition of the body where every part of the body is performing in expected function. There is a harmony within the body and it's fit for use by the self and also it's being anchored to the self. Being in close harmony with the self. Okay. Next one. What do you mean by Sukh and Subhita? Answer is. Sukh is a holistic and all encompassing state of the mind that creates inner harmony. Sukh is also called happiness. And Subhita implies that it's looking for physical comforts and all of the source of attaining such comforts. When our body gets used to certain level of comforts, then we will only feel comfortable at the level, for example, comfort in fan, cooler or in air conditioner. Different people have a different perception of suvida and will seek a corresponding level of suvida according to their perceptions. Okay, next question. How can we ensure harmony in self? I answer is... The way to ensure harmony in self is a four-step process given below. First step is becoming aware that human is the coexistence of self, I and the body. Next one, becoming aware that the body is only an instrument of I, I is the seer, doer and enjoyer. Okay, 
नेक्स्ट वन बिकमिंग अवेयर ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ डिजायर थॉट्स एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड पास ईच ऑफ द डिज ऑफ दीज डिजायर थॉट एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन थ्रू अवर नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस एंड नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट स्टेप इज understand harmony at the level of our existence by verifying the proposals being placed at the level of our natural acceptance this leads to realization and understanding which its turn becomes the basis for desire thoughts and expectation this leads to harmony in i in continuity okay next question what do you mean by imagination or what is Im imagination imagination is very important topic in your syllabus answer is the activities of desire thoughts and expectation at the level of self and collectively called as imagination maine abhi aapko pehle bhi is lecture mein bataya hai imagination is equal to desire plus thoughts plus expectation we all imagine in most of our activities in the self today can be mostly clubbed into imagination This activity of imagination in I is continuous and not temporary. Okay, so one multiple choice question here can also be asked. Imagination is temporary or continuous. So the activity of imagination in I is continuous. Okay, the power may change, but the activity is continuous. The pro the object of the taste may change, but the activity of selecting, tasting is continuous. Also, what we analyze may keep changing. The activity of analyzing is continuous. We make choice with the external world based on our imagination today. Okay, and okay, guys. Now let's wind up this lecture. See you in the next video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.